have like about a little bit time to hold Yep, exactly, we're on now. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 7, and it reads, But they also have erred through wine and right. through strong drink right. are out of the way. That's right. And that's not talking about actual wine, actual strong drink. It's talking about the, the wine and strong drink are these different philosophies and lies that have been taught to our people, Israel, by the heathen. Well, the heathen All right? Law says that when we are to dwell in the heathen lands, we're not to partake in their in their uh, uh, in their heathen traditions. Hence, Christmas, Valentine's Day, uh, uh, Mother's Day, all that, uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's, all that nonsense. But our people are foolish, and they decide to follow. And furthermore, we got these the, 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 the Edomites who train our people like T.D. James, all these pastors to furthermore and preach this stuff to our to our own people. Which is just, it's just, it, it, it's just a full circle of lies and deceit. Yeah. That's right, you know, and we read in the Apocrypha in the time of the Maccabees, when the Edomites came, you know, and uh, they began their rulership, they pretty much, you know, uh, got together with some of our people and they agreed that we keep not our ways, man, yeah. and that we should keep the ways of the Jesus. And that's exactly what's happening today, man. You know, like the scripture talks about, you know, how a gift destroys the heart, man. Yeah. You know, what happens around Christmas time? A lot of gifts are being passed around. Right? That's, yeah, correct. Because when you're given too many gifts, and you're not focusing on the struggle, because, and we say struggle because we're in hell, man. Yeah. It's not a place to live it up. This is, a, this is hell. This is hell for you you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians, man. So when you're given too many gifts, you're for, you forget about your captivity. Yeah. And that's what that's all it is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sideshow to keep you at bay from what's really happening, man. Yeah. That's all it does. Exactly, you know, they oppress us and they make us here and there yeah. in order to keep us going. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, you've been going through hell for 400 plus years. And then they give you, you know, an iPhone 10, and then you're content now. Yeah, correct, you know what I mean? Correct. I'm going to show you how lower people have been beaten down to, man. You know? It says, but they also have heard through wine and through strong drink are out of the way. The priests and the prophets have heard through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They erred in vision. They stumble in judgment. Because what's one of their visions on this day? Or the day to come tomorrow. It's that this is when the Lord was born. born. Yes. That's the vision they have. Oh, yeah. You know, so that's a false vision because it doesn't say nowhere in the Bible that the Lord was born on the 25th of December. That's right. Nor does it say that we're to celebrate Christmas. That's another false vision. And what does Christmas have to do with the birth of the Lord? Exactly. And I mean, because, yeah, yeah, or, exactly. or uh, you know, um, let me say it again, you know, what does Santa Claus have to do with the birth of the Lord, man? Because, you know, you got Christmas, you know, uh, with the whole kind of thing, you know, and then they connect that to the Lord. Now, when you look at, you know, um, a Greek mythologies and these different gods, a lot of them, you know, like also, uh, you know, I'm uh, in, uh, you know, I'm, uh, in um, uh, you know, I'm uh, Egyptology, you know, a lot of these gods were born on December 25th. So they added that to the Lord's commission, you know, 
know, or from the world called Jesus Christ, you know, and they, you know, added these customs, you know, and these, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a pagan traditions and connected with the Bible, man. But it's nowhere in the scriptures that the Lord was born on December 25th, man. That's right. You know? That's right. And I think a brother from LA, he was saying, if you look at uh, the Saturn God, Saturn, and you yeah. look at Santa Claus, they look exactly alike, man. Yeah. So, yeah, these are just them for pagan holidays, man. Right. Set up. Because if you go back to Rome on this day in Rome back then, what they used to do is a bunch of homosexuals used to get together and give each other gifts yeah. and pop each other, man. Yeah. Exactly. And do vile shit on this day. Exactly. And but, then. But, oh, but, oh, 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 but yet, over the years, Esau has managed to disguise the true heritage of these of these of these peg of this pagan holiday so that our people are kept at bay. That's right, you know, and also you know out here in Saskatchewan, you know, in Regina, Saskatchewan to be Pacific, you know, it's the like right now it's probably been, you know, like the coldest day of uh, winter, right? You know? And you're telling me that the Lord was born around this time where, you know, uh there's nothing out here, man. You know, all the animals, you know, are you know, I'm uh are kept know, in their stables yeah, at this time. You know? So winter represents death, man, whereas spring which when Yahusha was born, you know, around that time, it represents life because that's when you know all the waters are, you know, the grass grows, you know, and so on and on. Exactly. It's you know regenerated again, man. Because when you look at the trees right now, you know, there's no leaves on there, man. You know? That's right. The bugs are not even out. That's right, man. So born on 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 a time where everything's dead. Verse I'm about to read, yeah, I'm about to read verse 8 right now. It says, For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. That's right, man. And, and all that vomit and filthiness that the tables are filled with are these false beliefs, these false, these false, uh, these false uh, prophecies that they bring out, the pastors bring out, and, and, the, and the false knowledge, right? Because all our people that are up in the churches, guess what? Your faith is based upon false knowledge. It's based upon precepts taught by men. Yeah. It's not even, it's not even, Yahweh Shai didn't even teach you. Yeah. Because Yahweh Shai is teaching us through the, through, through the elders and the apostles. And even by ourselves when we study and make our own videos, man. Right. That's why there, there has been no way that you Christians can't come against this thing, man. Because lately you guys have been trying to come up against this. But like Apostle Tahar said, it's really because in the back of your mind, you're actually thinking, well, what if they are right? Yes. So what you're doing is trying to challenge us and see if we find any holes. Because yes. if you find holes, then you're reassured that you were, <laughs> that, you, that we were wrong <laughs> and that you were right. But you haven't found holes and you never will, man, because it's the truth. That's right, man. And also, you know, you Christians, you teach yourself the scriptures. The Lord yeah, does not on. give you the spirit, you know, to actually understand these scriptures, man. And you know, with like, you know, um, with you know, I'm a Jesus is the word and both back alone, you know, and you know, all of these uh, so-called Christians, you know, that are coming up against us, you know, they want to ask all the questions in the world, but as soon as we ask them a question, they say, oh, you know, I don't know, or you know, right, you know what I mean, or they make say, you know, they make statements like, you know what, it could be talking about this, or it could be spiritual, as in, they don't have the truth, man, as in, they don't know, so, you know, so, you know, who gives you, God, exactly, so, you know, who gives you, you know, um, the authority, you know, to say that you're a man of God, when we ask you questions and you can't even answer, but then yet you want to ask us all the questions and then you want the answers from us, man. You know, this is how, uh, you know, um, like Apostle Sahar said, that these Christians secretly are learning from us, man. Yeah, come on. You know? Come on. Along the way, you know, as it's off, they're actually learning from us, man. Sure, sure. You know? But anyways, man, fuck you Christians, man. I hate yeah, you people, man. Come on, come on. Verse 9. Who shall he teach knowledge, and who shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk, and drawn from, from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept must be upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, and there a little. That's right, man. That's it on that. You can get yeah. that line. Oh. Okay, one. Oh, there's one on ten. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right, man, because the scripture just said, whom shall he, 
you know, uh, make you understand doctrine, man. Because you people in these churches, right? You don't read the scriptures, man. You do not read the scriptures. In the book of Jeremiah, you know, which we're about to read, talks about Christmas in a negative light, man. That's okay. Man, that's crazy. There's a, there's a scripture. It is, there's like a whole like pair of passage, five precepts <laughs> on just on, on just not to celebrate Christmas. Yeah. But yet you tend to do it, and that's that's why when we when the Lord we how should I come and he and he asks you, you know, what have you done for me as, as my so as my servant? Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna have no excuses because everything is in the scriptures, man. Everything. That's right, man. You know, and also uh, I remember. Uh, uh, one of the Akim in Dallas, you know, he basically said, you know, uh, you Christians, you know, you like to talk about the Lord's return, but you don't want to talk about what the Lord's going to do when he returns. Because right. if people that celebrate these pagan holidays like Christmas, right, when your house shall returns, he's going to fucking kill you, man, for doing that shit, man. Because that goes against him. That goes, that goes against uh, the creation of the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, man. Actually, actually, if you can hold that and get Matthew 15 and 3. Huh. Matthew, what you're, yeah, huh. what you're saying is exactly what you have said to our people. Huh. And the women had Jesus huh. Matthew 15, verse 3? Yeah, just read that one verse. Huh. Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of Yahweh Hashem by your tradition? That's a cool cut. That's it, man. Yeah, guess that, what our man. people do, man. You, but you, you be give, you've been given the laws and statutes and commandments from the Most High, yeah. the man who created everything, yeah. and chose you to be His people. So why? But yet you choose to break those laws from men's tradition, yeah. people who are created from your own power. Come on. That makes no sense. Come on, bro. And they said what? By your own tradition, yeah, man. Meaning that this was not given from him. This was not given from the Lord. That's right. You have made that, man. You That's created right. those idols, man. That's right. you know? And it says, Jeremiah 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. That's right. Like the sign that we had just the other day in LA. Yeah. You know, yeah. That, 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 and that could be, honestly, that's, honestly, a, chariot. that's a chariot, that's man. A chariot. I believe that's a chariot. Yeah. But you also have to understand that you know, Esau has the power to project shit in the sky, man. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, you see how everybody is crazy because that's a chariot of the most high. And everybody has the catapults that are like, ooh, ah, yeah. oh my god, what is that? And all excited. Yeah. They're dismayed at the signs of heaven. The elect see that shit and it's brought to tell you how about Shibi El Shai, because that's, 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 that's a sign that most is coming to school soon. Yeah. The 2018 is about to pop off, man. Yeah. Instead of, I believe through the spirit of Yahweh, Shibi El Shai, 2018, there's going to be a lot of uh, prophecies that are going to be worldwide uh, known. Yeah. Exactly, you know, and just, you know, with the, you know, with that one here, you know, Esau, you know, comes up with uh, basically saying that, you know, um, that was a rocket being launched, man. You know, just as a cover up, just so that if he doesn't say anything, people are obviously going to say, yo, it's a UFO, right? So Esau wants to, you know, bring in his lies in there to deceive the people, you know, to, to deceive the people, so then you have people who have think that it's a UFO and have think that it was a rocket launch, just to have people confused, man. You know? But the Lord said that He was gonna show us these signs before He returns, man. Right. You know, and that was to show the part of the man. Right. Right. And it says, "For the heathen, so like for the custom of the people are vain." That's right. So this custom, yeah, it's vain. That's, it's it. vain. That's it. It means nothing, man. Yeah. This, this uh, uh, everything we, that we do, everything that we do, those of us, you know, begin with the apostles and elders, on down to our sincere brothers. Everything we do. Is to is to better is to is to uh, further seal our salvation. Yeah. You think celebrating Christmas is going to seal further seal your celebration? Uh, your salvation? Yeah. It's not going to. That's why it's vain. It has. It's empty. It means yeah. nothing. Like worthless. Exactly. Yeah. Worthless. Yeah. yeah. Like when you look it up in the blue letter, it's like it says worthless. Man. Yeah. You know. And then it says, "For the custom of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of a forest." The work of the hands of a workman oh, with the axe. Yeah, the path, huh. yeah. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, right. the work of the hands of the workman with the axe. That's right, man. That's, that's, a, that's, the, that's a Christmas tree that you guys get, that you Jake break your back getting, man. Yeah. 
Dad, do you have to lift that tree up, put it up, you have to clean up all the shit that comes off of it? I just watched a video where this guy had, he had spent like, like eight hours getting a Christmas tree. Got the biggest one to Christmas tree shop, got the biggest one, cut it down, put it in his house, spent like another couple hours decorating it. It was a nice looking tree. Yo, one guy left, he, there's a camera in his house, and the whole tree burnt, yeah, it burnt down, man. Yeah, the whole tree, and the whole house was catching on fire within, and it gives you the time. I was trying to say that too. Come on, bro, within like 35 seconds, the whole house was burnt down. Yeah. And that it was crazy. And it burned so quick, right? Yeah, it burned yeah. so quick. Because that, that tree was hella decorated. Yeah. It was crazy. That's started laughing. Like, there you go, man. The most high is not with that shit, man. It's good for your ass. Let your whole oh, house burn down, man. You know, and you know Jake spends money on that stuff, yeah. man. Right. Yo, thousands of dollars are spent uh, uh, on Christmas Eve. Actually, for the first week going up to Christmas to like the last week of Boxing Day. Yeah. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars are spent. It's just going right back to Esau's pockets. Yeah. So all that all that grinding you do for work, and all that eight hour, ten hour shifts, you're doing it for vain. You give it right back. You give it right back to your oppressor, man. Yeah. And then you know you get an object like the fucking Christmas tree, yeah. which you only use technically for one fucking day. That is vain. That's it. Man. You know, That's it. it's just kind of like you know how uh, you know um, these women, you know like you know like um. You know, uh, you know, these are girls, you know, like when they graduate, right? You know, they go, you know, and they buy a fucking expensive ass dress, you know, multiple grand, yeah. right? All for just one fucking night, man. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? And then, you know, they never wear that shit ever again. Yeah, but their man will be struggling and working like <laughs> 10 hour shift. Yeah. They can't catch him any money for that. That's right, man. Crazy. Just to show you how fucking. How fucking crazy people you know, are Jim Carrey right? had a statement, he said, no, no holiday yeah, should, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah she'll, yeah. uh, uh, what do you say, she'll, 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 uh, convince you to break your bank, yeah. to just, uh, to, uh, to spend money to show that person you love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something yeah. like that, yeah, you know? Yeah, Which yeah. makes sense, but like, my mom told me, you know, as kids, I was like, mom, you know what? All this, all this love and this hoopla you guys do, uh, on Christmas Day, this should be, if you, if this is for the Lord, and this is for your family members and your friends, you should be doing this every day. You know, like on Mother's Day, that's when everybody's like, oh, I love my mom. Yeah. Like, Yo, I love my mom yeah, like that every time. day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the same thing. It's like, why do you have to wait for that one fucking day to when, express your, your yeah, love? When Esau says so, you know, like, yeah, you know, like, uh, you know, with uh, Valentine's Day, you know? Yeah, come I don't on, have to come fucking on. wait for that day, you know, in order to buy flowers for my woman. Yeah, we're you know? damn we're here every week. <laughs> every weekend. Yeah, Let's yeah. Just, we're, man, we're here every weekend doing Her. the work, studying, pushing off videos every week, Her. working, enduring this hell. Yeah. Every day. Showing, and we, we're not doing it just for ourselves. Yeah. We got family members and and, 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 and our women that we want to, that we want to be saved. Yeah. Exactly. So you know what I mean? Like we're doing, we're showing the love right here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But because you have carnal eyes, you can't see that. This is a spiritual thing, man. Exactly. And it says they deck it with silver and with gold, yeah. right? They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it moved not. That's why, so they have a base for it, you know, um, you know I'm sorry to say, right? Yeah, and it's fun. They are upright as palm tree, but speak not. Yeah, because, you know, they'll put a star on top of that thing, and like, they'll look at they'll after it's done, they'll look at it and all like, this is their God. Yeah. And it's really, that's the sphere they come in. Yeah, yeah you know, like recently, you know, uh, you know, like, um, you know, like, like I just went to pick up, you know, um, uh, you know, um, uh, like I just went to pick up, um, you know, like, you know, my little brother, you know, from my parents' house, and, you know, I just, you know, like I walk, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, like, I'm, uh, like I walk, uh, you know, I'm, uh, into the house, and it's a big ass fucking Christmas tree, man, you know? Yeah, I'm lucky to see what else you broke before that, <laughs> so it's like, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's our people. That's right, bro. And it says, they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. That's right. That's right. And this is the point. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither is it also, neither also is it in them to do good. That's right. And what that means because like for people like us who are against Christmas, you know, you got pastors, 
and, the, and Christians who speak, who say, you know, the Most High will judge you, and they they kind of say that the Most High is going to get you for not celebrating his birthday. We're not too, you know, which is, it, yeah, it makes me laugh, <laughs> because it's like, what the fuck? Where did the Lord say celebrate his birthday? <laughs> yeah, God. That's the problem. Bring me that It's why it's time to celebrate their birthday. birthday. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and so, you know, we're not, we're not to be dismayed or, or, or be, uh, or be uh, afraid of, of not partaking in this, because, you know, you feel, if you're not strong and rooted in this thing, yeah. your whole family and friends are doing this, and you feel left out. You're yeah. like, fuck, man, maybe I am doing something wrong. Yeah. That's not how, you're supposed to, you're not supposed to be afraid of this thing, man. You're not supposed to be afraid to be an outsider. That's right, man. It's beautiful. It says, uh, 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 scripture say, uh, 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 Rough and paraphrasing uh, that it's beautiful when men should speak bad against yeah. you, of you. Yeah. And woe unto you because men speak good of you. Yeah. Woe, woe, it yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it says, woe unto you when all men should speak bad of you, for so did they of the false prophets. So, yo, you know, so they spoke well <laughs> of the false prophets. Right. So, if they speak well of you, you don't want that, man. Yeah. Same line as the ball exactly, you know, and then also, you know, there was this one thing, you know, just like how, uh, you know, I'm uh, talking about how it's better for you to be on your own yeah. or going in a different direction, you know, there's this uh, saying, you know, that heard the world, and it says that, you yeah, know, um, the other side, this thing, yeah. you know, so basically, you know, uh, it says that, you know, when you got multiple people walking in one direction, turn around and walk the opposite way, yeah. Yeah. because they're up to no fucking good, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly, that's you right. know, that's why, yeah, exactly, man, that's why, like, like, for instance, when you get a woman, oh, most men that are smart want that woman that's not in the club. Because yeah, all the women that. are in the club. But all those hundreds of women are in the club. But the one that's at home is like, oh, you're, you're something special. Exactly. It's the man. same idea. Exactly. And, you know, as a man, you know, you, you don't want to take your woman out, you know, to places like that. Because you got a bunch of other fucking grimy ass niggas looking oh, at that shit, bro. bro men, men that want to hurt you. For your woman, yeah. and we'll call you out in front of your woman, yeah. like, yo, this, yo, 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 she shouldn't be yeah. with you, man. You come with the real thing. I got money. That's fucking nasty, man. You're literally, you're literally sleeping, you know, with the same woman that was getting fucked by another man, you know, the night before. That's right. nasty, man. That's fucking nasty, you're man. Consider it shit. She just. She didn't give head. She didn't give yeah. another man. And then you fucking make it out with her the next day. Man, but you know that's the kind of society that we live in today, man. That's right. You know, um, you know, that's it on that. That was it on that yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, okay, come on. Uh, Amos, 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 five and twenty-one. Five, five. Yeah. You know. Minus 40 or something like that? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's like 35, 30, 30 plus. Wow. The book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 21. I hate, I despise her feast days. That's right. This is a big feast day among, uh, among what, uh, what's it called? Thanksgiving. That Thanksgiving and Christmas are one of the biggest feast days that these heathens and our people, two thirds of our people, celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. And what did the Lord say? I hate it. That's right, man. That's a strong word. Yeah. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not spell your solemn assemblies. That's right. Right? Though ye offer me burnt offerings. Right. Because, you know, on this day in church, this service, all the service in Christmas Eve and in Christmas. Christmas Day. And what they'll do, they'll grab that cup and they'll grab a, that piece of uh, that's supposed to represent Yahweh Shai, and they will pray on that day on the, and they say in the day that Yahweh or Jesus Christ was born, and pray as it's going up to the, as if they're giving as if they're giving sacrifice unto the Most High. Oh. The Most High is not accepting those things, man. Yeah. And then after they'll have cabbage, eggs, and pineapple, and all of that shit. They'll go ahead and yeah, come on. You know, yeah. and pancakes. You know, after church. Right. And say, you know, the you know, it's the Lord's birthday. Yeah, we celebrate the Lord's birthday. Yeah. The scriptures tell you when your house was born, the shepherd and the sheep were out, man. You know, in the winter time in Israel, it would be raining and it would be cold as hell. So, you know, the shepherd and the sheep would be indoors, man. Yeah. You know? So it goes to show you that the Lord was not born in the fucking winter time, man. Right. You know, that's a goddamn lie, man. Right. No, and you people are going to be put to death, you know, for, you know, coming up with, you know, with such philosophy, man. That's right. Especially you Israelites, man. You guys were given the laws and statutes of Yeah, and then, you know, you got people who are actually born on December 25th, 
who think they're fucking special, man. Yeah. You know, and, yo, yeah. yo, yo. And my woman is one of them, and she's a Muslim, man. You know what I mean? That's crazy. That's crazy, man. That's so true, man. Yeah, you can look at the look at them on their face. They're like, yeah, I was born on the this, this December twenty fifth. Like they were born the yeah. same day as as as, 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 as they were so called the same day as the Hal shot. Yeah. Yeah, man. And even if you were, what would that mean? You had you had men in the scriptures by the same name as Yahweh Yeah. You know? Yeah. It, 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 it's not a big deal. That's right, man. Yeah. <laughs> Joshua, you know, was yeah. also named Yahweh Yeah. You know? And it says, Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beast. That's right. Which is or usually your fat beast is that big. Yeah. That whole that whole pork. Yeah. You got you got you got know, people will get a will roast the whole pig and eat out of that. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yo, this is my favorite scripture right here. Huh? Take that away from me, the noise of thy songs. Okay. For I will not hear the melody of thy vows. That's man. All they all you hear for <laughs> two weeks, three <laughs> weeks straight. Christmas, Christmas songs, man. Right? Fucking radio, eh? Oh Don't tell that, that shit, that bro. Shit fucking drives me insane. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's, that's a, that's a, uh, that's a, what's it called? That's a spell. Yeah. That's all that is, man. You, I was hearing people on the radio, were, and the, the question was, how does, how does Christmas make you feel? And all the responses were regarding, well, when the music starts coming on, it yeah. puts me in that Christmas, uh, Christmas, spirit. Uh, Christmas spirit. And they actually use those words. Literally, like, literally, literally <laughs> Christmas spirit. Spirit, yeah. Yeah, come on. This is because it's a demon. And comes on you and puts you in that spirit. Like, okay, it's time to celebrate this vain holiday, pagan oh, holiday. Come on, man. Come on. So you're seeing it as a as a, as, a, as a day of, of the Lord, so called. Come on, come on. Hey, did you want me to keep reading down? Uh, uh, I just went down because uh, you know I'm a twenty three. Yeah, no, that's cool. Man. You can uh, get the uh, uh, Titus. Okay. One and come on. ten. Come on, come on. That's right. I know. I, you know. I'm a just. You know. I'm a quickly. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Like, like I got a person yeah, You know sure. that I wrote down a while ago. For sure. Put in Zeke right here. For sure. You know, that's funny, man. That's true. That, that birthday thing is so true. Yeah. They really do feel hell special when they're doing that. Yeah. All right. In Ezekiel chapter twenty six. Verse 13, which is just a precept to uh, Amos 5, verse 23, I believe. It says, And I will cause the noise of thy songs to cease. Mm, fine, fine. You know? And the sound of thy harps shall be no more heard. That's right, man. I mean, that's, <laughs> there, there's going to come a time, and real soon, where there's going to be no more, uh, uh, no more day as uh, so called Christmas. Huh. You're not, not going to hear any Christmas songs. Or Christmas holiday, uh, Christmas uh, carols. carols. Yeah, you got a bunch of it's all biggest, man. All Jake. Grown as big as you know, with full not beard. Not very in the damn near minus thirty out there singing to you Christmas carols. Like Jake is a fool, man. The, 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 you never see Edomites out there doing it. If they are, they they wait until it's a little warm, and they're only out there for a couple seconds, a couple minutes, and they're out. Jake will be out there getting it, like really adding spice to it and singing with you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Man. He's how really has Jake. Like Jake's huh? a fool, man. They're out there singing Christmas carols and dabbing at the same time. You know? <laughs> yeah, all oh, adding some spice to it. Yeah. Titus 1 and 10, he said? Yeah, huh. The book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 10, it says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers, right. and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Which is our Israel. Israel, man. Two thirds of you are, are vain talkers and unruly, man. Huh? Oh. You're preaching all type of blasphemy, saying that it's okay to eat pork, saying that it's okay to celebrate Christmas. You know? And all types of shit, man. That the Lord is going to save all people, even your enemy. Yeah. And that makes sense. Yeah. And, the, and, and the Lord said that He's coming to kill His enemies. But yeah, but yeah, yeah you're going to be His people and He's going to save your enemies. That makes no sense, man. That's right, bro. And it says, verse. That's why it says, especially of them of the circumcision. Okay, you got the other, other nations are doing it too, but it's, it's, it's mainly pushed by our own people. Verse 11, <coughs> whose mouths must be stopped, right. who subvert whole houses, teaching yeah. things they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Yo, Christmas is a heavy payday for these <laughs> pastors, let yeah. me tell you that. When they're up there preaching, 
<laughs> yeah, man, it's a heavy bonus because it's, it, we're in the Christmas spirit. You're only supposed to give 10%, but our people, you know, because they have that zeal, they're giving up 20, 30%. Exactly, and also from my head, what I was like, most people who don't go to church all year round, what time do they usually go to church on? Yeah. Fucking Christmas Day, yeah, man. Yeah, you know? They don't go they're definitely they're going on a fucking Christmas Day because, you know, these fucking Edomites and these, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, a Jake also, who, you know, don't go to church on a regular basis on every Sunday. They usually go, you know, to uh, church on major holidays like Christmas, yeah. Thanksgiving, and so on and on. Yeah, because right? they feel compelled. That spirit jumps on them. Yeah. Right? That Christian spirit jumps on them. Come on. So, like you said, man, it's a big payday for the, you know, for the pastors because you, you, you get more people in your congregation. That's right. But it's all for fifth to look for safe, That's man. right, man. It's filthy. That's man. right, man, because it says they subvert all whole houses. Yeah. You know how many families come up in those churches, man? You got, you got, you got men, that men and women, husband and wife that will bring relatives okay. from all over the place. You got some relatives that come from different countries to visit their relatives and they come up in and just more money, man. Yeah, and it's just like, you know, like a whole family, uh, you know, of a family uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> reunion, you know, and it's the same family that fucking hate each other, man. Yeah, it's to show you, you know, that this, that this Christmas, it's a demon that actually makes you think you're doing something good. That's right, man. You know? And it puts you in that loving spirit, but it's actually wicked, man. That's right, that's right. Crazy, man. And it says, <laughs> come on. And it says, one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, the Christians are always liars, evil beasts. Okay? Ah, it's like it. Evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Therefore, rebuke them sharply yeah, that they sharp, may... Be. Man, that's, that's why we cut them in the scripture. Cut. Therefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in their faith. See? But they're not sound in their faith. Because their faith includes a celebrating this day. So we're rebuking you sharply so that you may, make, that you, so that you may become sound in your faith. Man. Sound means to be whole. Con again. Yeah, con. Whole again. That's right. That's right. You know, that that's right. Yeah. Okay, so with that, we're going to close up. And we're going to say, Kal Hala, Yahawa, Wa Yahawa Shai. Most have to be destroyed. Destroyed. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Right. And salutation to the elect, pushing his word and truth necessary across the four corners of the earth. Right. And death and destruction to you, to two thirds of this wicked kingdom. Shalom. Shalom.